Okay, what's up, people? My name is Wangoi. My beautiful name is Wangoi. Wangoi, yeah. Beautiful name, Wangoi. Okay, welcome to my channel. And first of all, I have to admit, you vloggers, you really have a hard time. I've been having one of my hardest time. Okay, yeah. I've had a hard time doing this. Imagine, guys, I really wanted to do this. Kwanzi January last year. Okay, I tried doing this. I made a video. I put it up on YouTube. And as soon as I uploaded that video, I it. For no reason, as in seeing my face out there, I was like, 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 Please subscribe, support, support someone, someone here by subscribing. Please, if you have something to say about this video, don't forget to comment down below. If this video is good enough for you, you can please share it. And okay, in my first, in my very first video, I wanted to do something more personal. Okay, something about me. And so I decided that my first video I should do about what I hate and what I love plus my phobias. Of course we all have phobias. Nani hananga phobia? Nani hananga kitu wana ukopa? Mimi si ugopi. Mimi si ugopi. Ispokuwa tu calligraph. Calligraph John pia ya kuna mtu wana ugopa. Na tutisha nini ya tini nisi ogopi. Okay, saa. Mimi kuna vitu nina ogopa. There are things that I really fear. Kwanza. And those people who have piercing all over. Do you know mimi niko, niko, niko na? Niko na piercing moja tu enye nilifanya long long time ago. Ya maskio. Na hakuna kitu nina ekanga mbewe. I really put earrings on my on my piercing. So whoever aki when you munafanyanga piercing all over, I salute you too. I salute you. But I can't bear as in any sharp object, even isendano, even in nini, whatever. Razor blades, everything. I can't stand any sharp object. That's hard. Mimi sindano ikapotea kwa nyumba. Hmm. Aki yonyumba ni nalala ni kama yiko pia na nyoka. I can't stand piercing. Can't stand anything sharp. Okay. Something else. I hate crawling animals. As it say me ku hate. I used to say for the longest time I used to say that I hate snakes. I hate what. No, I don't hate snakes. I fear snakes and all those calibers. And his how when you watch when you wanna crawl. No, no, no. Is of it to zio copper like shit. There was a time last year. I was doing my attachment at Nairobi Museum. And working there, you have to go. Okay, in the zoology department, you have to go through all, all all departments, all sections. I mean, and one of the sections was dealing with snakes. Do you know? I barely went to that section. I only went to that section for one day, and then he left. I never visited the snake park. I tried once. I thought I can see the snakes, but just seeing the snake, even. On TV or on my phone. And Jalala ni kiota nazo. So those things no. Alafu unapata mtu. Ameenda shule. Specifically kusomea nyoka. Okay. I used to hear. Nasikianga ati. There's a way that. Uneza hando nyoka. Na isi kufanyi kitu yote. But mi mistaki kujua. <laughs> no. Vigehota. <laughs> no. Okay, something else that I really fear. Is it fear money? Mr. Kangi kuskia pengi oyote. 
anything painful is scary to me. Anything that frightens me is scary to me. <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, I can never stand on a tall building. <laughs> no way. I can never stand on a tall building. Height. No, 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 no. I just go back yangu. There was a time I tried. I I I, I, I wanted to try the blinding. Nikaji church, I can do it. But I'm still going to try because I'm going to give it a try. Because I believe we can conquer our fears. So I'm going to try one day. But right now, siwezi si si mama kwa gorofa. Kwa nyumbe kwa na gorofa zaidi ya tano. Ata tano ni mingi. Siwezi si mama kwa gorofa ya tatu. Eni kuangalia tu chini tu hivi na sikianga kizungu zungu. Namu na this. Elevators tu. <laughs> Ninapandanga kwa hiyo elevator. Ninasikia kizungu zungu. Nasikia nikiwa mgonjwa. Nasikia all signs and symptoms of sicknesses. Nasikia ni kiuzu. Kiwa. Sijui kama ni venye. Sijui kama ni venye ni mwona horror movies mingi. That I wouldn't like. I wouldn't want to be stuck in an elevator. That is my fear. Stuck in an elevator. I see it happening in movies. But since it can happen in real life. Yeah. Elevators. No, let me take the stairs. Let me take the stairs. I'm not going to do any elevators. No, nope. Ni make a ta diki hota. How do you feel when you're sick? Very bad. Sendio, very bad. Okay, that's how I feel. Or that's how every girl feels. And they have period pains. I really hate those things. As much as I hate being sick, I specifically hate having my period. <laughs> it's good having that period. It's very good having that period. Someone can relate to what I'm saying. But whenever it's over, I feel like I'm, I'm born again. I'm someone new. <laughs> Those things, you, you, do you know, my, <laughs> during my college, there was a, every, every time we, we had an end semester exam, the last paper, every time I had to redo a paper because of my period, I know it happens to many girls out there, and it's tough, it's tough to deal with that pain for that one day or two days, it's tough. Me have my, my pain for the first day. I wouldn't wish that pain on anybody else. Ata kama ni ugonjwa no. I hate. I hate having that thing. I also hate having pimples. Do you see these things right here? Any anything on my face? Any dot on my face? makes me feel like I look I look ugly of course I know I look beautiful I look beautiful just like you you look beautiful but I don't like pimples I don't like pimples on my face yeah they don't okay they make me feel bad I feel like every dark spot that is that is left on my face makes me okay makes me even have low self-esteem Okay. Even st standing in front of many people with my pimples on my face. <laughs> I know it's it's not supposed to be an issue. I find kuwa issue kubasana, but someone can relate to what I'm saying. Yeah. Girls and their face. Akiheri kuwa na kidonda. Kuba mahali pingine than having an, a pimple on my face. Yeah. I love for something else before even I forget. Those people, kwa barabara, mnapatana na wao. Lafu you hear someone calling you size yangu, size yangu. Do you know how much I hate you people? What makes you think I'm your size? Unapatana jibaba jikubo mta nasema ni size yako. What makes you think that you are my size? If it applies to you that I'm your size, 
then it does not necessarily mean that you are my size no please those people who should call call me your size ni venye tu mimi ni kadogo and i hate being petite sometimes nasikia kama ninaweza shake am to hivi ni kunjanisha tu hivi na ukuta hadi akuwe tu ile size yenye haivi taka mimi na kuwe size yake you understand me does that even make sense but i really hate alafu wala wa mama kwa mpesa <laughs> Aki no wonder that mpesa lady used to insist on you guys unaenda kwa mpesa unapatana na mtu unamuliza can i withdraw some cash anakuangalia hivi anakuuliza kama uko na id kama saa hii shule zimefunguliwa zote unaniona hapo vizuri ninakuja kutoa pesa unaniuliza kama niko na id of course i have an id si kila mtu ati kila mtu mdogo hana idea ma kila mtu mdogo ni mdogo sisi ni wadogo lakini sisi ni wakubwa if you know what i mean so it's very annoying and i i really hate i feel like someone is belittling me as me so much it's okay to be small and i'm not complaining about my size but those people who keep reminding you how small you are they make us feel so bad someone can relate to me because i feel so bad something Okay someone telling me how small I am I know how small I am and I'm proud of how small I am but that is none of your business please just keep off okay so this year okay I've talked about what I hate and what what I fear but there's also something else that I love I won't say much about what I love because with time whatever i'll be okay whatever i'll be posting whatever i'll be uploading is what i love so i don't really have to talk about what i love but there's one thing one thing that i love okay one thing that i had to discover for a long time okay it took me a long time to discover that i really loved it so mimi mimi nwala watu when i finished school you know it's hard to look for a job there are so many jobless people there are so many jobless youth <laughs> youth <laughs> youth out here looking for a job but kuna wenye wamepenya and they are doing something great na they are somewhere because of their talents so i used to ask myself and i used to ask god even what, what, what is my talent I never used to know what my talent is and it took me a long time i was even jealous of, of other people seeing other people developing their talents and using their talents to go to go far and i i really felt bad that i had nothing to do so there was this time last no yeah last year but one i was so broke so broke and i decided so there was this group and there was this whatsapp group about job updates and i had okay i i saw this post of a production company they were looking for actresses to act in kikuyu and swahili and so i tried <laughs> i'm so afraid of many people and it's takangi kukwa mahali penye kuna watu wengi i'm not okay i'm not good at making new friends Okay unless you approach me I don't know how to approach people that's my problem but that time okay I was called for an audition <laughs> I tried my audition my first audition I remember it was in a place in the, the great there so I went for my first audition I was not sure I wanted to do that but since I had nothing else going on I decided to go and try Okay, I decided to go and just stay around there and see what they were doing, see whatever I can try, see whatever see if I can do it, okay? Since it was in Kikuyu or Swahili, I decided I can do Kikuyu because I'm fluent in Kikuyu. I can talk in Kikuyu very fluently. So I tried. Nikenda Palace. <laughs> So there are people out there with talents. I tried okay I saw like the first three people they tried acting. 
they were given a, a, a scene to act on and I was, okay those people are really talented mimi nilikuwa tu ninacheza so i went there nikachungulia kenya watu wanafanya and i was afraid nikashindwa actually nilikuwa nimevaa hii ito penye nimevaa leo and the producer okay i had siko nimejaribu anything but the producer said okay i like this girl it won't say if ukwani uoga she can really act and so sit am chukua leo because i was given a scene and i said nothing i had content but nilishindwa kuitoa as in siku ana sauti nilikuwa na feeling nilikuwa na shida nikiambia msichana paza sauti we cannot hear anything so they were even harsh they were even harsh because they have to be harsh because kuna watu wengi kwa line and they all want a chance so they were very harsh mimi nilikuwa nimeomba Mungu aki Mungu enifanya tu maajabu yako nichukuliwe but nilikuwa na doubts mingi kwa sababu nilikuwa najua kuna kitu nimefanya compared to what other people did na hii watu someone gave me a chance and I, I got a chance to try something my first video <laughs> Nilikuwa nachinda nikiangalia kamera. Anasema take two. Na usiangalie kamera Teresia. <laughs> and then I go again. We took like four takes and I was good to go. So, when they gave me con- that that confidence that I really needed, I realized so this is what I was meant to do. Right now ninapenda kuwa in front of the camera and you cannot take me off that and any chance to who in akosa there are many there are many people out there and that's what i love doing there was nothing really i wanted to, to talk about what i love doing but i got a chance to discover myself and i'm so proud because that producer gave me that chance so i think it's up for now please subscribe to my channel Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section. If you like this video, please share it and recommend other people to subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more. So click on the notification bell and stay tuned because I'll be posting more. Please let's grow together. Tusaidiane tu tafadhali. Thank you. Thank you.